Now everyone can benefit from the speed and reliability of an SSD, but not everyone is comfortable opening up their PC to perform upgrades. So we challenged ourselves to create an SSD upgrade guide that is so easy to follow along with that even a zombie could do it. But how do you test such a concept? Well, we could only think of one way. We had some great luck though, and we were able to dig up the perfect assistant. I'd love for you guys to welcome my great, 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 great uncle Jim to our SSD upgrade guide. However, he's a little bit on the old side, so you'll have to be patient. He's still working on the first steps of the guide. Uh, Come on, that was funny, man. Uh, well, hold on, can someone give us a hand here? Jim's falling. Now that we've got Jim somewhat stabilized over here, it's time to begin. So like all PC upgrades or repairs, it starts with gathering all the tools you need at a safe, clean workstation. So first up, a multi-bit screwdriver. Second up is a grounding strap. No, no, it's okay, not that kind of ground. We're not gonna put you back in there, Jim. So here, I'm just gonna put this on your wrist. There we go. That keeps your hardware safe from static electricity. Now, if you'll just, what the heck? Where's my Phillips head? Hold on, I'll be right back. Hey, look at that, I found it. All right, so now that we have the appropriate screwdriver bit, we can go ahead and remove the screws from the side panel. Here you go, you'll need that. And take the side panels off. Once we're inside the case, we can find the existing hard drive, which is handy because it'll show you where the drives mount in your case and give you a point of reference for where the new drive is going to go. You can also follow the connectors back to find out where they come from. Use four small screws, they're gonna be included with your case, here you go, you're gonna need this too, to mount the SSD onto a drive sled or however the mounting system works in your PC. Plug your SATA data and power connectors in, then you can close up the side panels and boot the PC just like normal. Go ahead and press that power button, Jim, thank you very much. Once you're at the Windows desktop, you can go ahead and run the Acronis cloning software that's included with your ADATA SP920 SSD. And basically it's a waiting game. I would recommend here, can you grab that again? I would recommend before you start clearing any extra files off of your hard drive so that while you're waiting for them to transfer, you don't get bored to undeath. Oh, come on, that wasn't that bad. Give it a rest. In peace. <laughs> you know, Jim, you are doing absolutely fantastic. You waited for the drive to clone and you didn't eat any brains at all. Great job. All right, so now that the cloning process is done, you're gonna wanna enter the UEFI BIOS and reconfigure your SSD as your first boot device, because otherwise, you could boot up your computer, you could boot up your computer, and you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference between those two drives because the data on them, the OS and everything, the programs are exactly the same. I mean, you'd be able to tell the difference because <laughs> one is, of course, much, much faster. Now, once you've done that and booted up into Windows, you can decide what to do with that old hard drive. You could give it to a friend in need, for example. You don't have too many friends, do you? Or you could use it as a storage drive. So you can put your favorite music on it, like Monster Mash, your favorite shows, like Walking Dead, and your favorite movies, like Shaun of the Dead. The zombies even kind of win in that one, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, yeah, okay. You know what? I think that's it. I think we're pretty much done. It's booted up. You got your SSD in there? You rocked it, man! Great job! So there you have it folks, uh, a successful experiment I guess, we learned a few things. Number one, a zombie can indeed install an SSD with the right guidance. Number two, a uh, aforementioned zombie can become enraged and turn violent. And uh, number three is contrary to what we thought before starting this uh, process here, you are not allowed to dig up the corpses even of your very close relatives. So we will 
<clears throat> bear that in mind for next time. Uh, in the meantime, guys, like this video if you disliked it, or liked it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Uh, give it a share if you think other people need to know how simple it is to install an SSD. But in the meantime, guys, we gotta go. So peace out. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips, and uh, see you next time. Our thanks to Adata for providing their SP920 SSD for this guide. It's fast, affordable, and apparently tastes like brains.